garden today we are in the upper rose garden all of our fancy formal um, hybrid tea roses grandiflora floribundas the really really pretty ones that everyone comes out to see this lovely warm weather that we've had the last couple of days and the next coming days the roses are really coming into their peak bloom season so make sure you come and check us out beautiful um they kind of have their first really big flush now then they peter out a little bit in the summer but then in fall around september october we usually get another nice flush um so anyway come check them out but another thing that's coming because of the heat that really love our roses too are the japanese beetles that um you know they affect us here at the garden we have a lot of questions every year about them you know they probably have them at your home if they have some of the plants that they really really like so today we're going to show you an easy way a green way that you can control them in your home and then the way that we do it here at the garden so if you want to follow me over here if you haven't heard of japanese beetles before they are an invasive um, beetle from asia i think japan that's how they get the name japanese beetle that um, can do quite a bit of damage on your plants. They really like members of the rose family, um, roses in particular. Also, a lot of plants that are native to Asia, Japan, because those are the plants that they live with, so those are the ones that they eat. So, if you want to take a look here, we got a bloom, and you can see all of our friendly shiny little beetles hanging on there they're pretty little things but they do quite a bit of damage so um they tend to hit here at the garden the rugosa roses first which are kind of like the bushy shrubby really thorny ones and then eventually we'll start seeing a more on our fancy formal roses and then they'll kind of start going on to um, some of our other plants so we don't like to do a lot of spraying here at the garden so how we control our beetle populations is garden staff and volunteers you just take an ice cream bucket with some water and put a couple drops of soap in there soapy water and the best time to go out and control your beetles is either really early in the morning or on a cloudy day when um, the beetles aren't as active because then they're kind of sleepy and then you just knock them into the water and then they fall down if you do it in the middle of the day when it's hot and sunny they're just gonna fly all over the place and you're not really gonna get as many of them off so just take your little bucket and see if I can do this one-handed for you guys you just kind of take your rose and you got to be kind of careful so you don't scare them away but you just kind of put it over the top of the soapy water and their natural defense mechanism is to fall down so if you put your bucket underneath your rose or the leaves whatever they're on their natural instinct is to fall they'll fall in the water they will go for a nice little soapy swim and then they'll go to sleep and then um, you won't have them on your roses anymore so you can see in here um, you know we got like three or so of them that fell in the water you want to let them kind of sit in here for an hour or so um, so they get nice and sleepy before you dump the water out just so they don't fly away again but you get some really pretty soapy water too especially if you're doing roses you get all the pretty petals in there so we kind of like to call it beetle soup um, but that's an easy way for you to take control of beetles at home. That's how we do it here in the garden. Um, so yeah, they're here at the garden. I think it's a couple weeks earlier than last year, I would say, um, but you wanna keep your out at home. We have, I think, some information on our website, gbbg.org. I know the Brown County Extension is also a good resource. They have a lot of publications with information on how to control them as well. So anyways, come check us out. Roses are looking beautiful. A lot of stuff's really starting to grow in. Um, and stay tuned on our website, gbbg.org, for more behind the scenes and what's going on here at the garden.